Welcome to the new school year. This short video will show you how to go in and change your term weight setup and your category weight setup if necessary. We'll start by looking at the staff handbook. On staff handbook on page 15 shows the grading percentages for your final exam grades that the different departments and different courses have selected. Um, here you'll see grades, final exam grade percentages at 10, 15, and 20 percent. If you fall underneath the 20 percent category already, then you do not have to change your term weight setup that has been set as the default from the high school. Um, if you fall into the 10 or the 15 category, then we will provide instructions for you on how to make that change. You'll notice when you log into uh, Power Teacher, you're going to have some new options and new links. One of them is the Power Teacher Pro link up here. Um, or you can get to the grade book by look through an individual course, which will select that course for you. If you want to make a change in just third hour, this is a little quicker way to get to just third hour. When selecting on the PowerSchool Pro, I now access the new web-based gradebook. If you look at the top here, these are your different classes. You can select and work in different classes. I'm going to work out of my first hour help desk intern course. What I'm trying to do is change a setting. So I'm going to go down here to this tab, and you'll notice your tabs on the left-hand side. I have an options for settings, and I'm going to change grade settings, so I look at traditional grade calculations. Once I'm in here, you'll see that I've got my T1, my C1, and my E1 that we've always used. Again, as a reminder, T1 is your total grade for the entire term, which is made up of my C1, which is my course grade, plus my E1, which is my final exam grade. So again, my C1 plus my E1 equal my T1, and this T1 is the, the total grade that's put on your uh, students' uh, historical grades and transcripts. The T1 needs to be set up as term weighting. Now, it's been pushed to you to be set up as term weighting, and it's been pushed as the fault of 80% for your C1 grade, which again was the course grade, and 20% of your E1 grade, which is your final exam grade. If you have something different than that, for example, if you had a 15% final noted on the staff handbook, then you would have 15% for your E1 grade and 85% for your C1 grade. Um, this percentage must equal 100. So to change that, I just type in my new weight values and I hit save. Your category weighting for C1 for the course grade has been set up by Lewis Central High School as a default to be two categories. One is practice and the other is performance. It's been set up as a default of 20% as practice and 80% as performance. If you do something differently within your PLC, here is the place where you would change that. So for example, if your PLC has decided that 15% will be practice and 85% will be performance, this is where you change that setting and go ahead again and hit save. Now these settings have been changed for this one particular course and we would probably need to go in and change it for all the courses offered that term and potentially for terms to come. To do that copying process because you don't want to individually have to set up each course, you click on the little cog in the top right corner and you're going to copy traditional grade calculations. We're going to copy to another class. You do have an option to copy within this one course if your individual courses were set up differently. For example, our engineering department has a 20% final, but some of the industrial technology classes have a 15% final. So you could do within a course, but we want to do all of our courses, especially because I, we're just teaching this help desk in term all day long. Um, so we're going to select first the from course. We just made the change to the first hour help desk intern course. So that's the course we want to select. So that course is first term and it's the first hour help desk intern course. That's what we're copying from. What do we want to copy it to? We want to copy it to everything in first term that is the help desk intern. So I select all those at once. You'll notice that they've come up here. So my second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth hour. Down here is a button for validate. You want to click that first. This does not copy them. It just validates and shows you what you're about to copy. So if you look at your from, Make sure that's the correct course and what course is your um, two, third hour, fourth hour, and so on. And it's going to copy the, the C1 and it's going to copy the T1 is what it's kind of showing you here. Then the important step here is to actually click on copy. 
This then validates what was copied and lets you know if there were any errors. It will also let you know that it couldn't copy for whatever reason and tell you why. Um, so now if I looked at any course uh, within my first term, I'll notice that the default that the dis that this high school had pushed has now been changed and now got my 8515 and under my category weights I've got my uh, 15 and 85 for practice and performance. So that change has been pushed to all of my classes this term. If I want to push this change to classes in multiple terms, I can do that also through that copy traditional grade calculations and again to another class. Again, selecting the class that I set up for first try, first hour. Um, this time I just want to select a different term. So I'm going to select term two and I have some different classes in term two. So I would select the classes that I would want to copy to and again go through the validate and copy process. Let's say you've got settings from last year that you want to bring in. Um, that's also possible. Uh, even though it was a different grade book, if you click on the cog again and you hit copy traditional grade calculations, you want to copy to another class again. This time, I'm going to jump into last year's term. So 2016, 2017 was last year. I'm going to select from term one. I don't have any classes term one. From term two, the class that I want to copy is this particular course right here. And I want to copy that to the future, term one, and I can select my classes. And that will actually bring the calculations that I had set up in previous years up to this year if you want to use that route. And again, go through the validate and copy process. Those are the steps to set up your both term weighting and your category weighting calculations. Quick reminder that because we've set up category weightings, and we've only set up the category of practice and the category of performance, all assignments when they're created need to be selected under practice or performance. If you create an assignment and you don't select the category of practice or performance, you select something else, then it won't actually show up in your final grade calculation. Um, so remember, if you're just going to use the practice and the performance categories, then every assignment must fall under either practice or performance in order to be included in the final grade.